Alright, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way to look at a file um, that you know or suspect might be malware and run a little bit of an analysis on it to figure out what exactly it's doing. So to do this I'm going to be using a um, utility file on the internet called um, Anubis. And basically what it does is it analyzes these binaries and tells you what exactly it's doing. Um, right now it only takes Windows executables, so if you're on Linux you're going to have to do it yourself. So um, let's get started. So right now I have an executable file right here that I already know um, is malware. And what I'm going to try to do is figure out what exactly it's doing, where it's connecting to, and how it's affecting your computer. So what I'm going to do is I have it right on my desktop right here. I'm going to go into Anubis, scroll down. And what it's going to show you right here is you can analyze these files um, either by the URL or you can upload it yourself. So I'm going to choose file, I'm going to scroll over here, select the executable that I have, and upload it. So you're going to want to enter the capture and submit for analysis. So here's where it's going to take you once the um, submission is successful and it's going to analyze it. Sometimes it might take a little bit longer. They already analyzed this one because I already sent it in. Um, so you're going to get quicker. So when you go to the page, what it's going to show you is the task ID, which is just for uh, Anubis itself, um, the file name, an MD5 sum of the file, and the times where it was submitted. Um, so what we're going to do is um, look in HTML first, going to open up a new tab, and we're going to come back to this um, capture file for later. So first of all, um, at the top it's going to show you a summary of what actually is doing, um, whether it's auto start. Um, and what this does is it's telling you that this program is setting something to start, and this can pose a security risk. Um, it also creates files in the Windows systems directory, which is generally not a good thing to have. And a big one right here is that it joins an IRC network. Um, this is most likely um, a botnet, and later you'll see that it actually is. Uh, you can see a few other things and what it flags it as, whether it's a high risk or a low risk. And so, we scroll down, and what it's going to do is show you some general information, time, how long it took to complete, and some different information about the uh, processes that are started and the files itself. And so it's going to tell you different runtime, the libraries that it's reloading, um, some memory information. Um, it's also going to show you a um, virus scanner that it scanned it as, in this case the Icarus virus scanner um, flagged as a virus. And it's going to also show you the system registries that were affected by it. Um, as you can see here, the um, HW order was changed. And just keep scrolling down, it's going to show you some more information. A lot of this goes in really great detail, so if you need to know specifics about this um, file, you can find it out here. It also, another big one, is looking at the processes created. Uh, you can see here, win logon. And uh, that could be suspicious, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, it also again goes down to look at this um, process that has started and go into the information for them. And if you keep going down, you're going to find um, the most interesting part, which is network activity. So if you open up um, DNS queries, it's going to show you the um, uh, domain that it tried to access and the query result, which is the IP that it got back. And so um, this is telling you that the program is um, trying to connect somehow or figure out where this domain is. If you go down to IRC conversations, it's going to show you a lot more. Um, so the domain that it's connecting to for the IRC is right here. And what it's doing is it's connecting with a nickname of new epic bot um, with a username of 1854 and a server password of right here. And it's joining the uh, channel Cheese. So right now you can tell that it is actually a botnet. Um, so right now we're going to go back up here and back to the other page where we can download the traffic.pcap and I already have that on my desktop that we can analyze right in downloads and it's right here so we're going to open that up in fire on uh, Wireshark figure out what it's up to Basically what this is going to tell us is more specifics to what the network activity was on the other part. So if you look around here, you're going to see some information from the IRC channel that it's sending, being received. If you keep scrolling down, you're going to see the passcode that was entered right here. And then if you keep going down, you're going to get the IRC almost uh, welcome message right here. And an easier way to do this is just right click and follow TCP stream. It's going to follow the whole conversation with um, 
blue and yellow representing outgoing and incoming. Um, so right now we have um, receiving some stuff from the outside server, us sending the password, us sending it our nickname and our user, and then it's sending us the uh, welcome message. We're telling it that we want to join the uh, channel Cheese, and it's basically doing some more um, information and stuff like that, um, setting you up as a um, zombie on their botnet. So this was a simple five-minute way to figure out whether a file, what it does, and um, I hope you learned a little bit of how to um, analyze malware through this. All right, thank you. Thanks for watching.